100 bucks, $100 if you could tell me, oops, why do people hate their jobs? It's actually not what you think, according to this Inc. Magazine article. 70% of people hate their job. I'm giving away 1000 bucks. Welcome to episode 18 of The Investor, I'm talking about quitting the grind, doing something else, and uh, a how-to guide. So, this person spent 15 years studying why people hate their jobs. I'm gonna grab these comments real quick. I'm gonna start reading these to you. What's the reason? Now, obviously, people, some people are gonna say, I'm gonna give you a hint. It's not like people go, oh, because they don't get paid enough. Hint. Oziano T just said he just quit his job. Hello from Boston. Where's everybody from, by the way? It's Saturday night before I go out. I decided to pop in here on live and do some training on what I've learned, the last job I had was when I was, well, the last nine to five is when I was 16 at Office, it was called Office America, it's bankrupt now, like most of these companies, it was like a competitor to Office Max. I hated it, I remember looking at the, I could tell you the number one reason I hated that job, it was boring, so. We got Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Australia, Simon says there's a lack of happiness, he's in Australia, and he's now his own boss. Mikey said Chicago, Afik said Malaysia, no passion for the job, uh, getting warmer, but not really, actually getting colder. Ty is drunk right now, <laughs> nope. In India, we quite actually depend upon jobs. Well, they depend upon jobs in America too. I'm just saying, why do most people not like them? No respect from your supervisor, that's getting warmer. Just quit my job today, someone said, Someone just wrote Montana, Wichita, UK, Cincinnati, Hazlitt, New Jersey, Salaya, Philippines. No sense of fulfillment. Ty, I want you to be my boss. Stress, other people, not feeling like they're actually doing anything. Um, hold on, I'm gonna see if I find it. Give me a second. 100 bucks if you could answer. Let me read this to you right here, and I'm gonna give you the solution too. I'm not just talking about problems. Praise addiction, that's what they say. We've been praised to seek out incentives like good grades, stickers, trophies, and yes, praise. We wanna be liked, we wanna be respected. We want people to be impressed with us. It gives us a temporary feeling of happiness. The problem is we end up making career choices to impress other people so we could feel that fleeting rush of validation. In the process, we lose sight of what makes us truly happy. I don't know the exact research, they listed it here in Inc., but here's a study in the UK, same kind of thing. Um, I'll screenshot it, I think I got it, yeah. Give me a second. All right, let's see if anybody, who, I think the closest person, let me go back, somebody said they said, pray. I'm, a, I'm gonna give it to this Victor Ruggiano, I'm gonna screenshot it, just write it down, Josh and Zach. Victor, under, it's screenshotted on this phone, Victor underscore Ruggiano, sending you 100 bucks. Instagram, Victor underscore Ruggiano, screenshotted on this phone, permanently there. Yeah, people too, too much sheep, that's the word. So sheep all follow each other, and then they follow each other into the wrong job that they don't like, and then when it doesn't work out, they have a heart attack, freak out, get depressed, bored, and even people will think that's not the reason. Let me ask you this, just honest. What's the main reason you picked the career that you have now? Ask people that question and continually they're gonna give you the same answer. When you get deeply into the root of it, deeply into the root, they're gonna go, well, I guess, I, I'll give you per example, my dentist growing up. Dentist is almost the highest suicide rate. Why? Dentists have crazy suicide rate. Let's just pull this up. I forget what the suicide rate. Suicide rate dentists. 
Just think about it. You think a lot of people? The 19 jobs where you're most likely to kill yourself. Dentists really, you don't want to, here you go. You don't really want to be a dentist. Pharmacists, there's a good example. You know what? Very few people. It's like I have friends that are Persian. So many Persians become pharmacists. Makes no sense that one group of people would go so disproportionately into one field, except when you think it's because their parents pressure them into that thing and their friends do it. So yeah, you're gonna have a higher suicide rate because who in the world wants to go? You ever met somebody who goes, lifelong dream, stand at the back of CVS, take people's piece of paper. I don't even know what a pharmacist does. Why? This is a weird thing. I'm probably gonna expose my ignorance. Why do we need pharmacists? What are they, like gatekeepers? It's a pills with a bottle, and I see them like they, <laughs> again, maybe I'm just ignorant, but uh, can't that job be like outsourced to robots? Of all jobs that should be robots, shouldn't it be prescriptions? You just go, they need 30 Xanax. Why don't you just get a bottle of 30 Xanax that came right off of assembly? Why does a pharmacist need it? It's welcome to modern world. Doesn't even make, probably no one has a good answer. I'm sure very, select situations you need a pharmacist to look at some complex but I mean they're not manufacturing the drug what's the hard part it seems like the worst job I heard some comedian he's like pharmacist is the job where you go there and it and they basically look at you like what why are you here like dude why do you think I'm here I'm picking something up so it's just sheeple I'm not just saying Persians, I'm just saying. For sure, if you know Persians, a lot of them are going into pharmacist occupation, and I don't even know why. And please don't do that. Please don't do it. Kyle Munger said, that's a great idea, actually. Pharmaceutical assistant, software as a service. Yeah, like, somebody please make a pharmacist robot. Now, if anything should be turned, you know another thing should be turned into robot, like toll booth operators. Why do we make people sit there and have fumes blown in their face. Maybe you need one person in case somebody jams the machine or something, but I mean, why are we sticking people on the New Jersey turnpike? I feel like it's like a form of monotony. Just imagine, or like security guards at midnight. See security guards at a place that don't even need a security guard? We need RoboCop. You ever seen that movie RoboCop? That's where robots should handle all the jobs you don't want people to have to do. But again, in society, you got millions of people pouring into jobs that people don't like. Someone said, designer Melissa, pharmacists verify drug interactions, dosage, and what they're taking. They verify doc? Yeah, but yes, like I said, there's no good reason. <laughs> verify drug interactions. I've been, I picked up a prescription before. It says it on the piece of paper. It says, do, are you, you could just have a checkbox thing. It's like, are you pregnant? Dink. And anyway, why is the doctor prescribing you a drug you can't be taking? That's, no, that's not a good reason. There, I hope there's a better reason for pharmacists. Uh, Keaton Shumway, like $140,000 he has in school loans for pharmacy. See, why'd you fall for that? It's parents or something, stop listening. My grandpa was a psychologist. My is my great grandfather. My grandma's dad was a psychoanalyst. And one thing he taught my mom: often the worst thing for parent uh, for kids is their parents. Just literally, just Sharon says. Actually, pharmacists know about medications more about medications than doctors do. Yeah, but doctors prescribe it, so a pharmacist can't stop it either. Nobody talks to a pharmacist. I've been. I mean. 90% of this can be outsourced. I'm not picking on pharmacists, but dentists is the same way. A lot of, you should be a dentist because you like it, not because your parents said you're gonna make more money. If your parents say you're gonna make more money, just ignore them, really. All parents should be just fully ignored. If you're like an artist and you wanna be an artist, your parents say you wanna make any money, that was great advice in like 1742 
where people used to die of hunger. No one dies of hunger anymore in America. And if they do, there's usually children whose parents neglect them. It's usually parents' fault. So do something for real, like something. You could be a pharmacist if you're just fascinated by drug concoctions. But to do it, there should be no group of society where there's like 10% of the whole population becomes pharmacists, unless you're all sheep. Okay? Someone said, Ty, why do you sleep till noon? I don't sleep till noon. But I do sleep till noon in like London. Maybe you're in a different time zone, baby. By the way, the whole thing about when you wake up is pretty uncorrelated with how much money you make. Um, so let's talk about the opposite of sheeple is self-directed career choices, money making. Also, don't go after things just because you think it's going to make money. Do something that gets you what you want out of life. Okay? Robbie Searles says, Ty, yes, you do. You sleep in. Robbie Searles apparently stalks me in bed each night. How'd you, how'd you find out my address, man? I'm concerned. Did you, like, you have a portal through my phone? Oh, according to my Snapchat. Well, I know this is going to be mind-blowing. But sometimes I wake up for many hours, and then my first Snapchat, when I say, like, I just got up, it's not actually what I got up. <laughs> you do know, like, sometimes you have movies, and it says, like, Christmas time. But they actually shot it at a different time, and then they said it was. I know this is very mind-blowing stuff, but, um, yeah. I have slept past noon before, but. I didn't today. How many hours do you sleep? I try to sleep eight hours. I think that's the magical formula. It, it, sleep eight hours. I've tested waking up very early, very late. In between, it, it seems to be insignificant in my life. Um, unless you look at other factors, like if I'm on a farm, then it's better to wake up early because you got to take care of animals and chickens wake up at like 4.30 in the morning. Keaton says he needs to own a pharmacy. There you go. You can inflict the psychological torture then as the employer of a whole bunch of people likely to commit suicide. That sounds good. Uh, Ty, just started the e-com agency. So for those of you who got in the recent programs, I'll show you some cool stuff I've been getting. Double check with Paul in them. Uh, let's see. Check this out. This is pretty cool. Launched a test group last week. It has not even been. Here's one. Here's a check. George Coos, right there. We have a private Facebook group for my test group. I don't know if you can see this, but George KUZ says, guys, I just closed my first $25 a month client for my e-com agency. He has a little picture of the actual one made out to him. He'd only been in the program like three days. A lot of these test groups that I um, launch, they start working for people right away. Roshan Konjimbaum just closed the deal for 600 bucks for making a website, improving their Instagram. This is so real, man. Can't wait to learn from you. Thanks, Ty and Joe. Uh, here's another one. Mark Zabonski. Ty, I got my first client to build their Shopify store $700 euro for just this paid in cash 700 euros is close to about a thousand bucks also got her interested in upsells such as building messenger bots email marketing and social media marketing um, let's look at this this guy Luke L Johnston so yesterday I watched the training videos in the e-com agency and this morning I managed to get my first uh, meeting with a potential client. 13 phone calls got me one meeting locked in and three follow up. I'm a 40 year old male who is sick and tired of mediocrity. I've always dreamed a big game. My actions have never matched my dreams until now. Luke, he looks like he's in Australia. This stuff that I'm talking about works. You can be a pharmacist, you can be a dentist. There's nothing wrong with a diversity of occupations in this world. Not everybody's gonna be an entrepreneur, but a lot more people should be an entrepreneur. And the reason people aren't is because people's parents and society inflicts fear on them, but it's a lot of parents doing it too. A lot of parents doing it. 
Jasper says the e-commerce agency or the Amazon blueprint, which is better to start with? Well, I'm gonna talk about the Amazon blueprint because I'm on an Amazon kick right now. I just shot an hour long video talking about Amazon and just like, I can show you right now, <laughs> right now, right now, how this thing works. Just pick anything you wanna sell. Partner with the richest guy in the world with the biggest, tr with the trillion dollar company. You know, for some people go, I don't wanna, Ty, I don't wanna build a website. I don't wanna learn how to do social media marketing. I don't want an agency. I don't wanna have to cold call people. I just wanna be, I'm quiet, I'm introverted, Ty. I just wanna like be behind the scenes. Okay, then let's just pick today, live. I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna give you a, what I believe is a six or seven figure business plan right now. This will make 100,000 to a million dollars in the next 12 months if anybody does this, if you do it well. Obviously, if you start it, you're lazy, you procrastinate. Let's just pick something. Anybody name anything that they purchased today. We give 100 bucks, whoever, by the way, names the thing that I end up doing the, business, the spontaneous business plan for. Let's go. 100 bucks. What they don't teach you in school, I'm going to teach you right now. Read some of these off to me. Uh, hundred dollars just a product you bought today i'm going to turn it into a business plan a six hundred thousand to a one million what what's up grant is he here should i bring him on i didn't see him in class he was just commenting he wanted to make a hundred thousand <laughs> <laughs> grant you want to make a hundred grand hello from manhattan grant Car cardone's down there in florida he had a big conference I was down. Some of you might have seen. I think Grant had either 25, well, 25,000 plus people, biggest entrepreneur conference that I know of in the world. Maybe there's another one, but uh, it's pretty good. I was down there. People were blown away. I got a lot of good comments. People saying it's the best conference they've ever been to. So Grant, good job on your conference. I got a lot of good feedback, man. Press the button on his comment and press add to live and then just hand me the phone okay face masks backpacks uh what else let's look on insta food and gas can't sell gas is he on let's see if grant's coming on here he may be asleep now grant i didn't know you even stayed up this late Are you there, Grant? What's up, Grant? What's going on, Ty Lopez? Is that a fire pit or what is that? I, I, I'm here, brother. How you doing? I'm down in Cabo San Lucas. Oh, okay. Grant is partying. He made so much money. He's like, I ain't working no more. Can you see me? Am I flipped right? No, no, no. shit, dude. Is that us? Okay. And uh, and then we just pop down to Cabo for another week. So then I get back to work for the rest of the year. Thanks for having us at uh, 10X. My whole team, I brought 30. Well, I didn't bring the whole team. People loved it. Yeah, you were awesome, man. I really appreciate you being there. You helped a lot of people. So I look forward to doing more things with you. Let's do it. Say hi to the family. Say hi to your wife. Everybody loved your wife's talk. So it was good, man. So let me ask you. Let me know if I can do anything for you, all right? Let me ask you a quick question. Your opinion. Okay. If you had to sell a product online, a physical product, not educational stuff, not real estate, what catches your eye these days? Oh, man, I mean, I'd, I'd want to sell something in the fitness space. Fitness. I agree. You, yeah, you look like you've been getting, you've been getting in shape. Awesome. Well, I'll let you go, man. Thanks. We're gonna, I'm going to dissect that. We're going to go with Grant Cardone's idea, a fitness health anti-aging supplement on Amazon. All right, Grant. I'll talk to you later. An iPad. Send me my iPad. <laughs> Grant wins an iPad. 100 bucks. <laughs> 100 bucks. Grant, what's your PayPal, baby? <laughs> 
All right. So who has this idea? Who has this idea? Okay, I see somebody right here. Somebody said cocaine. Uh, I need someone to give me something specific. Paper clips. That doesn't sound like a health item. Organic hemorrhoid cream. God. Zach? <laughs> Keto pills. Okay, let's go with that. Stephanie Leatherman on Instagram. I screenshotted it. Stephanie underscore Leatherman. Can you write the name down so you can find it? Let's say keto. This is a weight loss slash supplemental health strategy. Keto, it's a little bit similar to like Atkins diet a few years ago. So let's just do keto supplements, low carb stuff. You go keto, you go real low grams of carbs, like under 20 grams, under 10, under, there's different levels of keto. You can go under 100 grams of carbs a day, uh, of, you know, carbohydrates per day. Um, depends on how you count it. There's such a thing as net carbs and stuff like that. But let's just keep it simple. Low carbs for now. Let's look here. How could you get a keto, keto product? Keto stands for ketones. In a human body and in any mammal's body, they call it ketosis. I've known about ketosis since I was a teenager because when you have dairy cows and you don't feed them properly, they go into a state of ketosis, which basically is excess protein and not enough energy in the feed and believe it or not humans will pay for that in animals you try to keep your animals not in a state of ketosis because it's not super healthy but it's a huge trend one of my guys who works for me from from uh pakistan he lost 50 pounds he swears by keto one of my remote workers i got 1900 people on instagram 764 on youtube pure now First step you have to do, let's go through the stages of building a business from scratch without having to do your own website. Eventually you want your own website. You do want your own website, but you can start without it. You go to the largest platform in the world for humans to buy things ever in history, Amazon, thousand plus products a second. First step, we have to research and identify what we're going after, a product. In this case, we've already identified keto, but there's a lot of stuff within keto. Look at all these things. There's keto weight loss. There's keto pills from Shark Tank. There's a keto MCT oil powder. There's a electrolyte powder. Here's a keto, let me see if we can find something different. Most of the are weight loss. So weight loss is a huge market. Oh, here's some actual keto strips you pee on these strips they tell you if you're in a state of ketosis so let's just look at that because that's an item man look how many first of all i want to tell you something for those of you who don't know much about amazon i've been selling i've been an amazon affiliate that's my main strategy that i've used um to make money on amazon i think i started in 2013. Um, there's about four main strategies you can use to make money on amazon one you can be an affiliate that's what i've done Secondly, you can sell your own product. Thirdly, you can do an agency where you get other people up. Fourthly, you can have a marketing agency. There's other things. There's more than four ways, but they're just off the top of my head. So here, look at how many sponsored products. Now, if you hover over what sponsored means, it'll tell you. These are for ads. People are running ads. Now, would you pay money to run ads if you weren't making money. Nope, that means usually, not always, but oftentimes, sponsored products show that there's money being made. And notice how many sponsored products there are. I was seeing sponsored all the way down here. Okay, and they mix it in here. Amazon, like it's just like Google. But let, let me look at these strips here. These are sponsored electric light supplement. Oh, these aren't even sticks that you pee on. I thought those were the ones you pee on. You peed on me before. You peed on me before. Uh, let's just look here if anyone, let's look, there's a little trick that I've been showing people, Liz and I, she was showing this the other day, I'm gonna show you. You can see Amazon actually publishes what's selling, but most people never scroll down. You look here at your best selling rate, this is not doing super well, it's 161,000 in health and household. 
in blended vitamins, it's 4,100. What you want is a balance between competition and no competition. If there's too much competition, then these, then there's really smart operators already doing it. It's hard, okay, on a spectrum of one to 10. And if there's no competition, that means maybe nobody's buying the product. So you wanna be in this range here. Something that's semi-competitive, but not too competitive, but is competitive enough. I think this looks to be not the best product. I would pick, let's go up here to where you see things like Amazon Choice. Keto Burn, let's look at this Amazon Choice. 844 reviews, best keto diet, 60 pills, it's by Brute Nutrition. 70 answered questions, so that's good. They're taking care of their brand, they're answering questions. Let's see if they have a video. I think there's a little teeny video that was uploaded by somebody. I think that people are not utilizing video enough. I think it's a huge, take it from me, somebody who's mastered video marketing over the last, five, I don't know if I've mastered, but I do it a lot. I've done billions of minutes of watched of my video marketing, billions. Um, 1.85 on eight, 1.85 billion on uh, almost two billion on YouTube alone. I can tell you, video marketing converts, and so one competitive advantage. I'll be teaching this. By the way, I'm going to put a link below. Those of you who want to get in, the we have a 10-day crash course on how to um, how to sell on Amazon. It's called the, just the Amazon Sales Formula or Blueprint. We call it. I also have a four month certification program. I've been flying in uh, people that I work with that are experts on Amazon. I teach in there. I just had Liz come from Miami. She's doing 500 grand a month on kitchen items on Amazon, netting about 100. Last month she netted 104,000. So we've got her teaching. I've got two other people that just taught. So it's not just like you're learning from a book or you're learning from a professor. You're learning from people who have done it. Okay? Uh, and so. Anyway, what I was saying about this keto burn is even though they're doing very well, if you go down here, let's see their Amazon. Look at this. They're number one in fat burner and thermogenics. And fat burner, that's a big market. How many people are fat? How many people are fat, Zach, in this world? more they say 60 percent what'd you say they're not all in the south okay this one's pretty competitive but notice people want to lose weight and they want a pill to do it now obviously the main way you get thin is by controlling what you eat and working out for the most part, but you can get, a, I, Tim Ferriss, I like what he says about this. He says, uh, getting in shape is 60% diet, 30% working out, or specifically cutting weight, and 10% is supplements. So this is addressing that 10% market. It helps people feel good. I mean, I don't think it's a horrible thing. Keto burn so this is pretty competitive on the one to ten. Oh, i forgot to say yeah go to this link real there's a link in instagram youtube twitter if you look below you'll see it we'll pin the comment on instagram if you want to jump in i've got it open for five more days we've had it open for two days we're raising the price on stuff as the group gets bigger i think we had 850 people go in right away and this is going to get big there'll be 8,000 people if i let it so like to control it by limiting the test group a little bit with price. You can also, if you don't see the link, just go to tylopez.com slash Amazon Live. There's a 10 day crash course. You can get in 10 best video training, get you started in just a little over a week. And then you can upgrade if you want to, if you're a more meticulous person, into the four month program that we have. We have a four month certification program, which is a lot more training. If you want a little more, what's the word? A little more reassurance, a little more training. Keto, 
what would I put this product right here on a one to 10 of competition, no competition, we're leaning over here. Even though it's number one, it's, not, it's number one in thermogenics. Okay, it's not number one, you can see right here. Um, oops, I went past it, sorry. It's number one in fat burners and uh, thermogenics. It's not number one in sports nutrition, for example. That, it's, but it is 52 in health and household, which is crazy. This is making somebody a lot of money. Who's brute nutrition? If you're on this call, see if we can find anything about brute nutrition. I always like, if I'm, now I'm not gonna get in this business, I'm doing a business plan for you guys, but brute nutrition seems like they're owned by brute strength training. Don't know what this is, maybe not. Uh, okay, it's got a, they got a podcast. Let's click on about, it's a group of coaches. Matt Bryce. Cool, it looks like a whole bunch of, that's great. Now let's look at their Instagram because it's all about social media marketing right now. All of the number one model in the world is not the traditional model, it's Kendall Jenner because she has 100 million followers. So they have 130,000 followers. I mean, you can compete with this. They're doing a decent job, but this pictures have 300 likes. That's not an insurmountable competition, okay? Um, here they have, let's see their videos. This has 9,000 views. I always look like, how savvy are the marketers? How savvy, they're, they're I've seen worse. But certainly, if I go into a market and I go, my number one competitor has pictures with 400 likes, I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, I'm done. That, that's, that's a, yeah. You can, you can beat that or you can at least compete. You don't have to beat it. There's a room for lots of people in this game. You know how many people are gonna be buying stuff like this? So we do our research, identify, to me, this seems like, a product that's doable. Now, number two, we gotta get the product or get a way to sell it. By the way, this is, you'll be learning in depth in the, in the program. I don't have time because I'm getting ready to go out. It's Saturday night. <clears throat> Somebody said if they have 130,000 followers and only 300 likes, they bought their, that very well may be true, but I don't know if that's true. So we gotta get the product. Now, there is one caveat. You can just be an affiliate. So you could just be an affiliate, and I'm gonna be training on that. Like, this is the easiest way. You'll make a little bit less money in the long term to be an affiliate, but you could still make money without having to own the product, without having to put buy any inventory up front. The other thing is you can get inventory. So you, you have to identify, you know, you have to get the product. And there's many ways. When it comes to supplements, you can white label it. There's all kinds of labs that are white labeling. I mean, there's a ton in the US. And they all have their minimum orders on how many you need to do. I am, I am as R said, he made 60 grand sale in the last sales last 38 days. What are you doing? Are you on Amazon? Can you do giveaways so people can review? Yes, but reviews are less important nowadays than they, you don't need, you can pop, uh, uh, pop a brand without having an insane amount of, you used to need a lot, a lot, a lot of reviews. Ty, I've been waiting three hours for you to come live. It's now four in the morning. Well, I'm glad you stuck with it. Hey, Zach, come here for a second. Oh, I'll do this. Let me see something. There we go. So I just wanted to let you know that yesterday my brother and her wife finally had their little baby angel. Congratulations on the baby. Ty, do you accept donations? <laughs> Josh said, I missed 30 minutes of this, I'm upset. Well, I'm catching you up. We're doing a, this is a six to seven figure business plan. I'm researching the competition. This company's doing it well, Brute Nutrition. 
we're identifying, but we're also identifying weaknesses in the business plan, weaknesses in their plan. And again, we're not trying to beat other people. We're just trying to make sure there's enough room for us. They got 130,000 followers, but their pictures are only getting 800 to 400 likes. Okay, that's, that's, they're doing all right, but yeah. And once you identify a product, so what I would do if it was me in this game, I would go in and I would just simply white label from a lab and find one that'll give me the minimum order, a thousand units or less. And I would probably, you're gonna use, you can see here they're using Amazon Fulfillment, right, FBA. That means Amazon ships it out of their warehouses. So it's not like the old days of eBay where you gotta have a closet where you have a thousand bottles and you do it all, right? DN August Marketing Agency on YouTube says, ties the truth, I just signed my second client at 2,600 bucks a month. Congratulations, I've been training people you know, a lot of people ask what I do online. Well, I own a lot of offline businesses. I own real estate, I develop real estate. I've got businesses that are unrelated to social media, but I do a lot of social media. And one of the things I've been doing since about 2013, 2014 is training people how to go from rags to riches. All the stuff they don't teach in school, I'm showing you right here and I'm doing it again tonight. And I've trained uh, 286,000 people in my paid programs in 190 countries. We just look at our statistics. There's only 196 countries, I think, in the world. So little countries like Micronesia, Faroe Islands, this is working for them. Big places, the United States, Canada, the UK, um, places you wouldn't think about, like India, Malaysia, Indonesia, Australia is a huge, huge amount of people have been in my programs from places like Australia, Argentina, Chile, uh, Ty, may I ask if you ever sell a product at a cost and simply add a set fee for each product rather than you? Yeah, you can do that. You can even do a loss leader program. You can do a loss leader program where you actually lose money on the initial product. I wouldn't recommend that with Amazon. That's if you have your own website and you can have upsells and stuff, then you can actually lose money on the first product or break even. You can have a phone sales team. There's a lot of things. You can use email autoresponders to follow up with stuff. But um, Ty, I'm struck, stuck on finding a no website strategy. This is a no website strategy. Amazon, they already built the website for you. It's maintained with its own set of servers, Amazon Web Services. It's owned by the richest person in the world. Ain't gonna let this website go down. And he literally, you know what people don't understand about Amazon? Is that Amazon's this website but if you saw like a pictograph, it's all these little stores that Jeff Bezos doesn't own. Like Brute Nutrition owns this, they have their own website. And it's like a shopping center. And what he does, Jeff Bezos, you know like network marketing? I've never really done network marketing. Like many years ago, I did like Amway for one week maybe. Not knocking MLMs or network marketing, but the way network marketing works is, you know, people make mon money when, with both from their own sales and from people below them. That's what Jeff Bezos does. Trillion dollar company. He, it is, it's not an MLM, but it's very similar principle. It's a super affiliate system because you make money and the richest man in the world takes a cut. He's the godfather sitting right here and he wants to support you. He loves Brute Nutrition. In fact, he's gonna make his website very friendly to Brute Nutrition. He's gonna give all the credit cards of the people who have bought from all these other stores to Brute Nutrition. And he's gonna do it to you too. He's gonna go, you want a couple hundred million car, uh, credit cards on file? You want my robots that'll pack this in boxes? No problem, I'm your business partner. And Jeff Bezos is taking a cut off millions and millions of products and millions and millions of stores. Now he does have his own products. Amazon's developed more and more of their own line of products, Amazon Basics. They're getting into everything, toilet paper and whatever. They own Whole Foods, so they got Amazon Fresh. But he's still partnering with people. This window will eventually close or it's gonna get harder and harder. That's why I say, that's why I launched this test group and I put urgency on it because 
things that work, not, I'll tell you, I have a friend, this guy made so much money. I'm talking five, 10 million bucks a year. I'm sorry, a month, five or 10 million net a month. And he once told me, I've never had any product, any strategy that works for more than three to five years very well. It might work for 100 years, but there's always a window where it's killing it. Just look at Facebook. Facebook killed it. Uh, I'm friends with Tom who started MySpace. We've done some videos together. I interviewed him. And Tom from MySpace, he basically was the number one website in the world in 2005. He was Alexa ranking number one, more traffic than Google, 2005. 2006, same thing. Slowly, Facebook surpassed. Let's say 2008 was the surpassing, right? 2008. Now Facebook's on the decline, especially in the United States. So even a big multi-billion dollar social network, the biggest of the big ever, if they hadn't bought Instagram and WhatsApp, Facebook would be in major trouble because their brand's declining. Snapchat, boom, 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 going up, going up, going up for what? How big was, how many years was Snapchat big for? Three to five years. And now it's, I got 1.1 million Snapchat followers. I found out from Snap told me. How many snap? Well, that was like a year ago or six months ago. I don't know how many I have now, but less and less people are using Snapchat. This strategy I'm showing you on Amazon right now, I don't know if it's gonna work for three years, five years or 10 years, but I promise you there will be a day that it doesn't work as well. So go in now, now. Okay. Hey entrepreneurs, just do what it is necessary for the society. Profit will come automatically. Not exactly. Someone said, poor MySpace guy. You know what? People, I've seen people kind of laugh at Tom from MySpace. Trust me, he laughed all the way to the bank. He sold MySpace. Um, there was a sale for $500 million. And he made like, I don't know the exact amount, but let's just say over $50 million in his pocket. You don't... It's okay. He did okay. Would you be super depressed? He's for the last 10 years hasn't. He's just like, I just travel the world and have fun. He became a photographer. So there's many people you should feel bad for. Never say the phrase poor Tom from MySpace. <laughs> because if that's a bad situation, a bad outcome, I wish each of you have that outcome in your life. He's more than a millionaire. He's a multi, multi millionaire. How can someone in a small town with real entrepreneurial, with no real entrepreneurial success around find a good mentor? Troy, you stream in here, right here. The mentors I have in this Amazon selling blueprint program, these are good people. I have 100 million people see my stuff. So I reach out on my social media and say, hey, who's a master of selling on Amazon? Come teach in my class. Come fly out, meet me. I know already a lot of them, and they're flying out. There's actually someone, did they fly? Adrian and them flew in today. Oh yeah, sorry, wrong day. They fly in tomorrow or Monday. Do you still read books, Ty? You bet, you better believe it, my friend. Ty, your live comes perfect at India at nine in the morning. <laughs> um, Megan says she wants to be poor like Tom from MySpace, 50 million poor. Ty, love you, bro. When do you rise? I hope I'm always rising. You mean when do I wake up? Does reading books help YouTube growth? Not directly, but like learning stuff makes you more money. The more you earn, the, uh, the more you learn, the more you earn. That's Warren Buffett's advice to six-year-olds. Now, by the way, this program, that the, the blueprint, um, I, price, I price this Amazon 10-day crash course so low, just go look how low it is. It's a ridiculous price. I priced it low enough that not one person on planet Earth, even someone on minimum wage, well, maybe on planet Earth, but no person in most countries can ever say I overpriced this. I went so low. Now, if you wanna go in the four month program, it's a little more expensive, but it's still an investment. You're getting four months of training. Have you ever priced four months at a community college is a thousand bucks. I'm not even charging a thousand bucks. That's community college where you're learning from some professor who couldn't make it in regular university. Sorry to knock all the community college professors, but do you really want to spend a thousand dollars learning from a community college professor? <laughs> I understand why people go to Harvard. You get like 
a degree from Harvard. That opens doors, but Wake Tech Community College in Raleigh, North Carolina, Zach, that ain't opening doors. <laughs> you don't go. If somebody comes to me and goes, I got a Wake Tech Community College degree in Raleigh, North Carolina, it's actually, I'm like, I don't want to hire you because you spent years getting a piece of paper and learning from people. You Now you can learn all that online in video training. You've got Udemy, you've got you know Lynda.com, programs that I have. I, just I've trained more people in my program, I think, than anybody in a paid program, any individual. Two hundred. I'm almost at three hundred thousand, and it's only been the last three or four years, so it's a lot. I can tell you what works, what doesn't work. This training program works. Um, May everyone watch this live stream become rich, says DF Discovery. Stephanie Leatherman says, I spent $50,000 in college. It's not just the money. It's the four years of opportunity cost because you could have done something else. Now, if you would have sat at home, smoked weed, eaten Cheetos, and played video games, then maybe college is better. That's what Joel Salton used to tell me. People always say, well, four years in school, look at all the things they're learning. But he's like, but look at all the things they're not learning. You know what I did? I went and lived with the Amish for two and a half years, and then I traveled the world for two years finding mentors. I found a guy named Bill Mollison who founded something called Permaculture. I went to Tasmania, Australia to learn from him. I went to meet Mike Murphy in Ireland. I went, I've been into most of South America. I went to Japan. I went to most of Europe. Went to almost every state in the U.S. Went to meet Dr. Gordon Hazard in Mississippi. Like I, I didn't go to college for four years, but I spent four years training. I just went straight to the source itself. And you know what? I got paid to do that because I would just get a job with them for like three months. Hey, what do you need? I shared sheep in New Zealand to learn from a guy named Gary Townsend who actually had a Harvard MBA. So he trained me in the things that he got his Harvard MBA from. And I didn't even have to go to Harvard. And I got paid to do it. Now I had to shear sheep. It was a hard job. But I also learned common sense and street smarts. So you, some people should go to college and some people shouldn't. That is the correct answer to that. But the thought that college is a direct link and is causation correlation, people. Causation's not the same as correlation. The reason kids at Harvard make more money is because they come from wealthier families, they have higher IQs, they are very picky at Harvard, and they pick the kids most likely to go on and succeed. And so the kids don't even have to go to class. Just being accepted to Harvard means more likely, I'd bet on you, being successful. The classes are not causative. They're correlated. And if you don't believe me, ask Bill Gates, ask Mark Zuckerberg. The wealthiest in history graduates from Harvard didn't actually graduate. That proves my point is the end of conversation. But people can't get this through their mind very much. They're like, no, college students make more money. Look, they make 27%. Yeah, because people who can't go to college often come from dis. Uh, disenfranchised communities and low-income families so that they, they start out it's like running a race and you start out a half a mile behind people yeah I'd bet on the slow person who starts out a half a mile head start but yeah oh what's your take on the stock market I like the stock market a teeny bit but I don't like to put my money in things I have no control over that's why I put most wealth in the world is created in business and real estate America, I think, is 32 trillion in business creation and 29 trillion in real estate. Although, what makes the most money is derivatives, actually, but that's another complicated conversation. Inventing weird things that bring down economies like the 2008 derivative CMO collateralized mortgage obligations. I was just had lunch with uh, one of the big dogs at BlackRock, $6.6 .6 trillion company, largest asset management company in history, $6.6 .6 trillion. And, and the next big thing is CLOs, collateralized loan obligations, which are derivatives that are betting against corporate debt. So that, but don't get into derivatives because you make money, but you destroy the world. <laughs> That's what happened in 2008. The reason there was a uh, crash in 2008 is not actually because of banks. People like to lie about that. There were some bankers that did like, a little bit of shady stuff. There was some mortgage brokers that didn't. You think a shady mortgage brokers are going to crash the US, U.S. economy? Hello, you know nothing if you think that's true. 
Um, someone said, Ty looks smart, but he ain't. <laughs> hey, that's fine, man. I'm not as smart as you. That's, as long as you watch my Instagram, you can be, you can be smarter than me. Um, go to college or not, flip a coin, but actually build a business. That's what I would do. Now, we didn't get to, I don't know if we're going to get to number three or four. We got our product, but let's get to number three real quick. Step three is we need to drive visitors to our Amazon page. You can't just, because Amazon rewards you. Remember, Jeff Bezos knows if people come buy your product from your Instagram, from your YouTube, from your PPC ads, that he makes more money because people add other stuff to their shopping cart. So he pushes you up in the rankings if you're driving external traffic. That's why you need to know how to do YouTube ads, Facebook ads, and not just ads, but also organic traffic generation, SEO, what I do, viral videos you want to be able to do. You want to have influencer marketing. I just had Grant Cardone pop in. He's an influencer. When, he, when he's on my Instagram, you see the numbers spike up. I have 1,500 people on now, and I probably had 2,500 people on now. <laughs> Someone said, Ty, looking smart is halfway there, so you're good, bro. I'm smart like a fox. I'm dumb like a fox, I should say. People also like your kicks of the day. You like my kicks of the day? These are the new Yayos by Ty. The, you see the new Kawhi Leonard shoes <laughs> called the Ty, New Times Roman? <laughs> they just, in font, just say Kawhi Leonard. You know how he's like kind of real bland? <laughs> Here's Kawhi. Hey, I love this marketing that, um, is it New Balance? Or who, who has his shoe? Kawhi Leonard shoe. Check out these new shoes. <laughs> That's what they are. Look at there. That's his shoe. You see this, Zach? <laughs> Kawhi Leonard. Someone said that's the most Kawhi Leonard thing to do. Ty, your hair is on point. Ty is high on live streaming. <laughs> Ty, I love seeing you at the 10X Growth Conference. I follow you on Instagram. I love your book of the day. Thanks for everything. Thank you, Lisa. Paternella. Does Shaq still have a shoe? Yeah, you got like a size 22 shoe. Ty, why don't you keep your beard? That looks good on you. Okay. I'm going to put one of those fake beards on for my next one. Or the little mustache with the big nose thing. Is that a dude or a lady? Number three, drive visitors to your page. One of the things I'm going to teach you personally in the Amazon Sales Blueprint is how to drive organic traffic. you got to understand how to create an Amazon brand. And going back here, one thing that I think you can do as you go through my course, especially if you go through the four month course, I'll show you how to build a brand, man, a brand. You know what a brand is? This is step four, scale a brand. You can't only scale a product so far, scale a brand. Listen to me, scale a brand, not just a product because products get boring. Competitors can compete with products, but you can't compete with a brand. By the way, I still got $800 to give away. So we're going to go live again on Instagram when it resets. I still got 800 to give away, right? Yeah. Or 900. 800 still to give away. We got money falling on the ground. Um, so let's talk about this right here. What's the difference between a brand and a product? 100 bucks to the person who gives the best answer. Brand versus product. I'm looking for one exact word. If you say one word that is correct, you win. It's not a sentence. Brand versus product. Poor Facebook and Insta. I forgot to look on Facebook this whole time. Poor lowly Facebook has 183 people streaming. Twitter, what do we, Twitter is always my depressing numbers. I have 86. I got 1,500 on Instagram. YouTube has 2,800. I just kind of concentrate there, but I guess I should pay attention to Facebook. What's the course? It's called the Amazon Sales Blueprint. There's a link to it. Go grab the 10-day crash course. We'll be covering this stuff in depth. And then a lot of you should upgrade and get the four-month version of it, really. So, okay, the word connection. Brand isn't boring. Growth. Okay, these are decent answers. They're not what I'm looking for. I need the right answer. What's the difference? 100 bucks. What is 
story, longevity, loyalty. Ooh, loyalty is getting closer. Somebody wrote fart. This person is like label, quality, story, movement, consolidate, unique. Oh, come on. Somebody ain't going to get growth, person, leverage. There. There, 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 there. We got it. Okay, YouTube. It was on YouTube. I'm going to, you can pause it here. It's Lee Montoya. Mr. Muscle said it right after. Lee Montoya, you said it first. Please leave your email address where we can contact you. We had a little bit of problem with PayPal, but we'll send you money. If you're in the U.S., it's better if we can mail you a check right now. PayPal blocks us from giving too much money away. Yay, PayPal. <laughs> so the answer brand is trust. Product is question mark. You see that sometimes you go to buy something online, you're like, I've never heard of this company. I don't know if I trust them. Okay, when you don't trust somebody, you might buy from them, but will you continue to buy from them? Will you tell your friends about them? Will they get free viral traffic? PayPal thinks I'm laundering the money. How would I launder the money by giving it away to other PayPal people? I know, if PayPal has the IQ of litter, I mean, PayPal, back when Elon Musk ran it, it was a better company. That company is just, jeez. It's a good thing they bought Venmo because Venmo can put them out of business. Trust. One thing that you see here, there's maybe some trust that just says best keto diet. I feel like this is this can be competed with right here. There's no brand there, you know? Now they have a brand, but they're not exploiting, or I should say, they're not exposing the brand and showing the brand and talking about the brand. <coughs> It just says made with patented ingredients. There's no story. People buy stories. Look, even Jeff Bezos, I'm sorry, um, uh, when you look at the story of Steve Jobs with uh, Apple, one thing he was so smart, 1984, he put, himself, he put himself on stage and he introduced the product and he built a following of people who had almost a cult of Steve Jobs. In fact, you see the same thing that Elon Musk is doing with Tesla. People love Elon Musk. He's, he was on Joe Rogan's show. He tweets one little thing like, hey, and it gets, uh, if, if Elon Musk right now tweets, hey, it'll get 100, 000, or 50 to 100,000 likes and retweets. It's insane because people trust his brand. My brother, Ben, is obsessed with Elon Musk and, he want, and Teslas. And when he buys a house, he's going to put a solar panels from Solar City. If he ever goes to space, he's going to go on SpaceX. That's a trusted brand, and this can be competed with because brute nutrition, those two words, are not sufficient to generate enough trust. I'm not saying that this brute nutrition is a horrible company. Obviously, they're doing very well, so they're, they're, they're the players to beat right now. They're the players to the beat. They're the big dogs. They're number one in this space, but unless they evolve, there's some issues right here. And I do private consulting and coaching with companies, not this company, but I charge them a million dollars to help them build out their brand story. And I want to show you in this 10-day crash course and the four-day, four-month uh, program how to how do you build out that brand? It doesn't mean everybody has to like you. See, Donald Trump, not everybody likes Donald Trump, but the people who like him trust him. Now, the people who hate him massively distrust him, but he's still a brand, and it was powerful enough for him to be president. Obama, same thing. People who loved Obama love the brand. They still love the brand. His wife wrote a book. It's the best-selling book almost in history right now. Autobi uh, autobiography this is like the best-selling autobiography of, for a long time. And the Obama name is a brand. McDonald's is a brand that you trust. Even if you don't like their food, if you're hungry, it's two in the morning, you're like, I know what I'm gonna get. I trust what a big black, is. I'm not gonna get some weird goat burger. I was in India once, I ordered some meat, and I pulled a whisker out. It was literally goat. They had been, it was like a burger. It was pretty traumatic. So they didn't have a brand. There's no brand called Goat Whisker. You can probably, there you go, another idea, Goat Whisker brand. 10 seconds, I'm resetting this. I still got 700 bucks to give away. 
Um, did you update videos on the ecom agency? Yep, they're being uploaded as we speak. Ty, put on a twirling mustache like us Punjabi people in India. You will look so handsome. Zach, didn't you have, remember when you had a mustache? Sure. Did that increase your odds with the ladies? I have no idea, man. They love. You had no idea in a positive twirling. way? No, 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 yeah, yeah, it was good. It was, they love twirling the stash. Goat Whisker LLC. <laughs> there you go. Go buy Goat Whisker LLC. Goat Whisker Whiskey. There you go. You got uh, Conor McGregor right now is building a whiskey brand. What's it called? Something whiskey. I forget the name, but he's using his reputation as a fighter in the UFC. He's leveraging into a brand, and they're killing it. Elon Musk is doing uh, Tesla Coolant, which is a. Different. Elon Musk is doing a Tesla Kila. Yeah. <laughs> Proper twelve. There you go. See, people know right away his brand. Is paying for YouTube ads worth it? Yes, if you know how to do the whole thing. If you don't know what you're doing, can you redo this when you get a chance, Zach? So here's the four stages. Now there's a heck of a lot more going into this. We didn't have time to go through the nitty gritty, but I just want to say this is doable. I bet you right here, this company right here, and there's different software you can use to look. There's Amazon Intel. You can just Google Amazon Sales Intelligence software and websites there's a, quite a few on there let's just pull them up oops so amazon sales intelligence you can look right in here and actually tell huh, what does cora say sometimes cora has good answers amazon asin there's a lot of stuff we actually talk about this. Liz does a whole program. She's super into the software. There we go. There you go. They got lookup tools. You can look through and find out all kinds of stuff. There's a ton of these. I never go deeply into this. Maybe I should, but whenever I want to build a product, because I don't just sell on Amazon. Me and my business partner have done a billion dollars in online sales of products. and. I have my own philosophy on how I do it. I more look here, I look at the story. I go, can I create a story around this? That's good, that's compelling, you know? Do, do, do. We're back. What is the question? Gerber. Demetrius Satasha, give me the 700. For all of you who have won YouTube money in the last week, Hold die horses. I'm telling you, PayPal's a pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. If you're in the US, please email us with your physical address. I will send you a check for a hundred bucks. And now that Venmo is owned by PayPal, that's a whole nother business so much should go into. A non PayPal owned competitor with PayPal and Venmo. Shopify, yes, you can expand into Shopify. Cash App is one. You ever use Cash App? Yeah, all the time. Like Cash App. You should tell Maya them. They should use Cash App. Okay. Have you read Kosher Meat? Oh, tried Kosher Meat. Okay. Any last questions before I wrap up here? Let me read off the names of some people going in the te test group. Test group. I got a little app here. Who's in the test group? Hugo Lopez, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Mike Panson in Slosky, Poland. This works so well if you're outside the U.S. This is like the best business ever if you're outside the U.S. because you can sell into the U.S. No one cares where you're from. Ed, Eddie Alvarez in Canada, British Columbia. William Solly in Atlanta. Alex Rachita in Ipswich, Queensland, Australia. Aurora, Colorado. Hillsborough, North Carolina, Zach. Yeah. Nashville, Tennessee. Frisco, Texas. Oakland, Tennessee. Brandon Ford in Albertville, Alabama. This person doesn't live anywhere. 
Herm Hermanate Preet Singh, probably India. Zach Zacchaeus Williams, Montreal, Quebecois. Vin from Olero here in New York. Adelaide, Australia. Jason Incentis. Dariel Vari, welcome to the group. Brooklyn, Brookfield, Wisconsin. Brian Law in Brooklyn, New York. Sufian Damage, Wichita, Kansas. Ernesto Montoya, Chicago. Denisa Arroya, South Amboy, New Jersey. Stephanie Suarez, New York. Brett Lilly, Chicago. Charisma, Karima Grissa, Montreal. Gia Quakawoot in Burwood, Australia. Feliciano Gomez, Leesburg, Virginia. Palm Bay, Florida. Angel, no last name. Evan Miller, Boca Raton. Uh, Sean, Houston, Texas. Tanya Claxton, Auckland, New Zealand. That's a good place. You ever been to Auckland, Zach? You never no. came with me to New Zealand, did you? No, just Australia. Oh, yeah, you came to Australia. All right, we got 1,500 people here on Insta, 3,200 now on YouTube. Ooh. Let's talk about, real quick, any last questions? Who doesn't believe this will work? Who does believe it will work? What's keeping you from doing it? That's just my question. What is it? Is it fear? Is it money? I set the price way lower than people spend on coffee. The crash course. Um, the main course costs like half the cost. The full four month program, the certification costs less than half a quarter of community college. It's, it costs less than taking your family, way half, here's something, to take your family to Disneyland now, on average, I saw statistics, $1,000, assuming you buy the food there and you don't, like my family was broke, so we always snuck stuff in. I didn't realize how, how tight we were with Bunny. Looking back, my stepdad, we would go to the grocery store when we got into the movie. He would go buy bulk candy, because he's like, I'm never buying the candy there, Ty. It's like $3. And so we'd go buy it for $1. So I realized we would spend 30 minutes and a whole bunch of gas to save $2. <laughs> I'm like, what was up with our bank? But my mom was a single mom. When she got remarried, my stepdad delivered mail. He made, I remember he told me once, $31,000. He got a raise over time, but still, by the time I was a teenager, we lived in a mobile home. And um, I guess the point I'm trying to say is uh, you'd be surprised at how much money people spend on stuff they don't need. Like Disneyland is a thousand bucks. If you, how much are tickets right now? I mean, they're crazy. Let me look at a Disneyland or Disney World package. Disney World family cost. God help you if you spend the night. I'm not, I'm talking about like a day trip. My family never, I went to Disneyland a few times. Never, ever, ever. Here, look at this. How much does it cost to go to Disney World? They have two options. If your budget is 2000 3000 or 4000 You know what would be better? Take that money, give a man a fish, feed him for a day, right? Teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. Take that money for your kids, buy this course, even buy the advanced course. We even have more advanced coaching. Wouldn't even cost a third of that, okay? Then make up enough money, make enough money on an ongoing recurring basis that you'd be able to take your family to Disneyland every week. That's where people are stupid. They don't know how to invest money. You just go, uh, oh, Ty, I'm not gonna spend. I spend thirty to forty thousand dollars a year just on books. That's my book budget. It's about three thousand a month is my book budget. My mentor budget, I spend one hundred fifty thousand a month. So between one and a half and two million a year. And I bring up to people like, yo, you should get in a course. And they're like, no, I don't want to get scammed or I don't, I don't, I don't know if this will work for me. Well, what's the alternative? Most things aren't working for anybody. Look around in society. Someone, Kevin says time, it takes time. A lot of people aren't willing to wait the time it takes to build a brand. Yes, but you can start making money before you have a brand. But that is a good point. Who's your mentor? I have like 15 mentors. I call it my cabinet. The president has 15 cabinet members. Five, 15, five, five, five. Donald Trump, Obama, Clinton. That's one thing, no matter Republican or Democrat, you have 
you know, 15 cabinet members. I don't know when that started, but a hundred years ago or something. So I have like Dr. David Buss as a mentor. I have, I just talked to one of my mentors um, who, who wrote a book. Some of you have heard of called his name's Jonah Berger. He wrote a book. He went to Wharton. I don't know if he teaches at Wharton now, but he wrote the book called Contagious. It's marketing and how to go viral. Uh, my mentor, one of my mentors is Joel Salatin. Some of my budget is traveling to mentors. A lot of my mentors live around the world. So I got to go to them. But yeah, I spend, I've spent literally millions. I know because I have a line item that my CPA sends me in my accounting for my travel and I pay them by the hour sometimes or I pay them um, on retainer. So I put my money where my mouth is. I don't just ask you to buy courses, I do it myself way more than any of you are doing. And the more I do it, the more money I make. Somebody said, why did you close the, bro the broadcast, Zach, you stupid phone guy? He didn't know that it's only a one hour. <laughs> he didn't, that was Instagram itself. Thai people are afraid of investing in markets and in themselves. Absolutely, best investment you make is in your brain. Double down on your own mind. Ty, you said you had like 18 sources of income. Yeah, I have more. I, I like to say I have 15 because some of them you can group together. But I have a lot. I mean, I just, just last year, I every piece of real estate I buy, I do in a separate LLC. So just last year, I opened eight new LLC. I bought eight pieces of property. I buy more raw land for development. I bought eight pieces of property. So that's eight new streams of income eight things that have capital appreciation potential. So that's eight. If you start adding up like that, I have God knows how many streams of income. But if you group them together and say real estate or something, then yeah, I say 15. I like to under exaggerate. It's better to under exaggerate stuff, people. Because people are so triggered in the modern world that if you say you make a million dollars a year and you actually make 999,099 cents, people will be like, liar. People don't get with the, the gist of things. I don't, so I never even say all the different streams of income because what's the point? I, don't, I never got into this to brag or whatever. I, I got into it to increase my lifestyle net worth. I just shot a video on that. Don't just focus on your financial net worth. One reason I love Amazon as a business idea for you is because you can log into Amazon from anywhere unless you visit China or like North Korea. You could be just, go take a trip with your family to France for two weeks. You know, go, go see the pyramids in Egypt. Go go to the mountains for a week. Go relax. As long as you have internet connection, LTE on your phone, you can connect your laptop, you can be doing business. Someone said, that is genius, dog, separate LLCs. Yes, you want separate LLCs for most pieces of real estate. Even sometimes when I have one piece of real estate divided into multiple Tar, uh, parcels, I, I break the parcels off. Like I have one big piece of land that's, um, one of them is 300, it was two, I have a 253 acre piece, and then I just added another 40, uh, is it 42 or 39, something like that, and then I bought a, the adjoining 73 acres. And then I bought a few miles away, I bought 110 acres, it's right in the path of development. That one, I don't always like to develop land, some of it I keep, in conservation and agriculture for long-term asset appreciation and asset protection. But this specific 110 one I bought, it's gonna get developed. I might as well be one of the people to develop it. Um, yeah, you want, you want LLCs. It's better to have more LLCs than not enough. It's not very expensive to open separate companies. And sometimes you use a corporation, an S corp, a C corp. Sometimes if you're in the legal profession you or, or certain professions, you open what's called an LLP, Limited Liability Partnership. There's multiple ways to do this. Um, if you're in Sweden, you open an AB. They call them ABs. That's the name of the company. If you're in the UK, I have, a, I have companies in, in outside the US too. You, they call them limited LTDs. So yeah. Someone said reading is for losers. Cats Production says this. What do they call that? Shock jockeys? Someone trying to get attention? We'll just leave that there. Just remember, all people, when you see stupidity in the world, rejoice, because that is your competition. Really. Some people are like, Todd, do you get frustrated that people don't agree with the message of books and mentors? I'm like, no. I do. 
You ever seen the thing? Remember when, uh, who's the one that did, oh, uh, Jamie Foxx talking about how Whitney Houston was on crack, couldn't clap right? <laughs> Remember that? Yay. This guy don't believe in books or mentors. You want, just think about this. If you go and you're doing a UFC fight, like you can fight and you're cage fighting. And the other, and you don't know who you're fighting. It's a surprise fight. And this dude comes in, or this woman, and they're just like, no muscle, 150 pounds overweight. Are you disappointed? Are you like, dang, they should have trained more? No, you're like, da-da-da-da-da. You're jumping around for joy. Charles Barkley said there was one guy when he played basketball in the NBA that couldn't defend him. He would score like 50 points every time. He said he used to send that guy a limousine on the game day to make sure the guy got to the stadium to play against him. So what you want to do when you meet somebody that says books aren't good, you like want to encourage them to be your competition. You should be like, man, you should compete with me with Keto Burn because they're just going to get in there on the market and just <laughs> fill the market up with noise and you can just pierce right through it. Todd, you sell on Shopify. We have some biz, I have some businesses on Shopify. I use a lot of my own software, but we, I have one business on Shopify, one on ClickFunnels. Most of them we end up, I built my own software for the last 10 years, so. But I don't recommend you do that. Nowadays, you don't have to do that. Trevor, Amazon will never be too saturated because they have everything. Yeah, a Amazon not going to get too, what's going to get saturated on Amazon is individual categories. There'll always be something to pivot around, most likely. I don't know that Amazon will be here in 50 years, but Ty, can you explain about 1031 exchanges? Yeah, that's a U.S. tax code thing. You got 1035 exchanges, which are for life insurance and annuities, 1031 exchange, more for real estate. They're just saying you can exchange similar things without paying taxes on the appreciation. People like to quiz me. I got a lot of quizzes. Somebody once quizzed me and debated me and said, Ty, what does cap rate mean? And I, I wrote, well, it's kind of like ROI. And they literally made a video scene say, Ty doesn't know what cap rate is. Dude, cap rate is literally almost the same as ROI, you dipshit that made that video. I wanted to make a response video, but then I was like, I'm just gonna give him more publicity. <laughs> he made a video, I was like, see, Ty doesn't know what cap rate is. The only difference between cap rate and ROI is that real estate, it's whether you calculate in, how you calculate in the expenses, right? And the net cash flow that comes from real estate. It's the same shit. You, this dumb person thinks, I love when people are dumb and are like, ha ha, I outwitted you. I'm like, you're so stupid. The best way to explain cap rate to beginners, which I have beginners, if you notice beginners, like if you're a teacher, you know I teach, right? I'm not pontificating for a, a massive MBA audience or PhDs. It's ROI, return on investment. Cap rate is like, I'm looking at a property right now in, in, in Miami, $4.8 million. It's a small hotel. And um, it's got a cap rate. It basically, you take the money that it makes and you look how much cash you got in the deal or the property value, ta-da. It's kind of like ROI versus R I R R, internal rate of return when you're, I, I've been in finance for a long time. I used to work for GE Capital. Don't try to go against me in a battle of the wits over finance. It's just like YouTube could just, people get a voice who just know nonsense. A lot of people think I don't know much because it's like, oh, limos, and this is a guy that goes out and parties and pretty girls. Well, I ain't stupid. I will tell you that. If you, anybody want to come debate me live, I'm happy to embarrass anybody who wants, I'm not saying that cocky, but I'm just saying, stay in your lane on stuff, really. Especially on this kind of concept. That is the basic answer to what cap rate is. It's like ROI, but it's not ROI. Just like IRR is like ROI. Okay, Ty Kiyosaki launched a program, said you will make money guaranteed, his course of fifty dollars. What do I think? I mean, look, here's my general opinion. Every book I buy, in my life, I've bought 10, 20,000 books. 
like two of them, I wanted my money back because every single one, I either learned what to do or what not to do. I looked at their cover. I looked at their marketing. I looked at something like Abraham Lincoln said, learn from everyone, even if sometimes it's what not to do. You feel me? It's the NBA. Who won the all-star game, Zach? The East or the West? That's tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Today they had like the old timer game or whatever. They had a four point. You see, you see uh, Ray Allen was hitting four pointers. They put a f four point line behind the three point line. Yeah. Todd, did your course teach drop shipping? This program is not so much about drop shipping, um, but there will be elements of drop shipping, you know? Todd, I pay three k for a distribution warehouse monthly. Do you recommend Amazon FBA? Could be. I mean, look, you can still distribute a product through your own warehouses, th out of your own house. You don't have to just sell one way, but would it make sense to use the, the best inventory management company in history, Amazon? Nobody, even FedEx isn't as good as Amazon. That's why I bet you eventually Amazon gonna compete with FedEx. They're already basically doing that. They got Amazon trucks running around just like FedEx. Hey, is there a water, Alma? What website is good for trademarks? I mean, I use lawyers. You can also use like le some company like LegalZoom. Ty, I want to see what your fridge looks like. Right now it's like, so it's like kind of vegan, kind of not, but it's got a lot of veggies in, been juicing a lot. Ty, what do you think about Greg Cardone? Well, he's just on the Insta stream with me. Do you mean Grant Cardone or does he have a cousin, Greg? Amazon is the closest thing to magic. Ty, are there any requirements of this program? I'm a student from Hong Kong, English is not my strength. Well, you wanna be able to, can you reading? I mean, you wrote that comment. I don't know, the, the English on most of these pages is not very amazing. I think you'll be fine. Partner with, an, get an American to help you write out the course a little bit. Man, why is it logging me out of Amazon? Today's deals, oh, it wasn't, it, I went to the cart, sorry. Here, Zach, here's, a, here's something for you. Would you buy the Zach Hair Fluence? It's a hair product, premium hair. Zach's always worried he lost his hair. It's got biotin, keratin, and bamboo. Holy crap, it's got 6,500 customer reviews. Let's see if these reviews are real. I thought it said flaunt, I thought it said if you have flatulence. <laughs> um, Wow, let's see what their seller rank. Number three in hair, skin. Man, these people are killing it right here. Zui Nutrition. Hey, I bet you this is a Chinese person. Zhao. So somebody was just asking if you have to have English as your first language. Well, I don't think Zhao Nutrition. Zhao is definitely, oh, they're, yeah, they're named after a Chinese dynasty. Or maybe that's just their name. I bet you Zao, I bet you that's not Zao Nutrition. It could be, but maybe, uh, yeah. Keto Friendly Fat, I bet you this company's killing it. But why no video? You can put videos on it, Amazon. Jeez. Doesn't that say flaunt? It literally, as I scroll fast, it looks like flatulence because it says flaw and fluence. Don't put flaw and fluence near each other, man. Flaw fluence, flatulence. Yeah. When making a brand, would it be better for clothes or advertising? Well, everything, whatever you're selling, video is good. The future is video marketing. What's the difference in your course and drop shipping? Well, drop shipping, you can do it in other ways. Not You can drop ship not on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? But we will talk about drop shipping, but this is an Amazon. We're focused, like, it depends what you mean by drop shipping. What a lot of people mean by drop shipping is outside of Amazon. Some people, it depends. A lot of people do Shopify and do drop shipping. So they collect the credit card on their own using Stripe or something like that. So I'm trying to get in the hair product business with Zach with iodine supplements. There you go, Zach. Find me on Instagram. I'll do a commercial. <laughs> so 
<laughs> These comments are crazy. All right, we're gonna give out, how much is left to give out, 700? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give two people $350. I'm gonna see who paid attention. Before I do that, don't forget to go. We're in day three of this launch, tylopez.com slash Amazon Live, or click the link that's showing below. Jump in this program. This program is, as I said, I believe this is one of the biggest things uh, that people are forgetting to do. I mean, it's massive. I can't believe. I wanted to launch a course on this like a year ago, and I was just really busy. Ty, please say Roll Tide. Zach? Zach says War Eagle. I thought you say well, Wolfpack. And roll tide and Zach's not loyal to NC State. No, I am, but the rivalry for Alabama is Auburn. Auburn, okay. Somebody said he's an elite thrower of the football. How much money you have? Are you a caveman in how you wrote that? How much money you have, <laughs> me, ugh, <laughs> you, me, caveman. Ty, how was the Liam Neeson movie? The Liam Neeson movie. Yeah, what? what <laughs> Liam Neeson? Liam Neeson. It wasn't horrible. Plot, Ty, please do fast. I have to feed my buffaloes and then go to the farm. I hope I got something for my beautiful buffaloes. I think he means water buffalo. In India, they use water buffaloes a lot. That is a phrase you don't hear in America a lot. Hey, guys, hurry on up. Got to feed the water buffalo real quick. <laughs> I'm going to start saying it. I got to go feed the buffalo. <laughs> Are you going <laughs> to? That's your new. <laughs> when you got to go to the bathroom, <laughs> Zach's going to I got to go feed the buffalo. <laughs> Ty, you're a legend. Leo Nissan. <laughs> People are, how many ways? Okay, uh, $350. Whoever comes up with the funniest variation of Liam Neeson's name. Just, we're going to just do a random giveaway here. And then I'll do a 350 to someone who paid attention. This is how you spelled his, you, you really spell his name? Who can come up with the most creative Liam Neeson variation? Buffalo Wild Wings Yum. Someone said Leo Nissan, ha ha ha. Leo I. Clam Nissan, leaving Nissan, <laughs> Lemon Nissan. <laughs> All you guys, creative people, you should be making money out here. All this creative. Lion. Leonardo Nestle. Lion Gleason. Lambie Nissan. <laughs> Lee Yum Nissan. <laughs> hey, that's the one to beat right now. Fortuna Major said Lee Yum Nissan. That is okay, but. I didn't say you win. It's a Fortuna Major. I'll take a picture of it here. Uh, but that can be beat. That's not the best one, but that's not bad. Liam's knee ass. Hollywood Hills. Liam threesome. <laughs> that might be the winner, man. <laughs> Who said that? Where did I see that? Oh, there. Leon, oh, but Leon Threesome, Liam Threesome, no one, uh, Schmurder on YouTube. I might do that one. Come on. <laughs> Somebody said, does this guy get paid to speak? Liam Nissan, Liam Geesum, Lion Threesome, Fleas and Greasin. <laughs> Fleas and Greasin. Oh, man. Liam these nuts? Uh, I don't know. Le that's a pretty funny one, man. These are some funny ones. Ty, do you know about indexing the stock market? Larry Sunny? That doesn't even sound similar. How are you going to win? Something this guy just said, Bob Smith. Mark Anthony K says, Liam D's nuts. Mark Anthony's on here? Oh, man. This is funny. Cheese Neeson? Liam Need Nuts. Liam Marticus, the Neesons? <laughs> Liam Peon. <laughs> <laughs> These are so dumb, but they're fun. Weak, weekend dim sum. <laughs> Laminium Greasum. Man, 350 bucks. <laughs> Clean them decent. <laughs> Where? Clean them decent on Instagram. <laughs> there, that one. What do you think of that one? Clean. Okay, we're getting too many here. Clean them decent. <laughs> Flee them these nuts. I can't see the link, Ty. Sorry, this person's trying to buy. <laughs> 
Well, I'm blocking the whole thing looking at Liam D's nuts. Taking Heeson, Lopez Nissum, Vin Diesel, Duke Nukem, Leo P. So. <laughs> P on me, son. <laughs> That's pretty good, too, man. Quee from Nissum. <laughs> Which one? That's funny. Uh, do you like, okay, we're, we're getting too many. I'm gonna lose all my money giving them what? Liam Dutch oven. Ah, I feel like only guys are participating. The women have left. They're like, guys have gone nuts. Ty, this is a crime. Somebody said, get on your knees, son. Uh, Okay, next one I see that's good is the automatic winner. Lee Dim Sum? Nah, that's not as funny as the ones we have. Rip off Neeson? <coughs> Man, I don't know. I think the other the threesome ones were. You think threesome? I thought this one was, this last one was pretty funny. I think they were so, we like started not laughing anymore because they were too funny. Take a knee, son! Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good, but Zach didn't laugh at all. Which oh, is yeah, the one, I, I like which that. is the one you laughed at? All right, I'm gonna have to go back here. I'm gonna award this winner. Schmurder. Leon, Leah, Liam Threesome. Schmurder on YouTube. Schmurder, can you leave your email address? Literally, it's just. Liam feed some. <laughs> Liam feed some? <laughs> I already gave it to Liam Threesome. That's pretty funny. Need some threesome? Liam Gruesome. Okay, Schmurder, you gotta leave your, if you don't leave your email here, I can't get a hold of you. Okay, let's, now I'm gonna switch it to an, <laughs> yeah, Kimberly Valley, Leo Pizum. We're gonna switch it to an actual serious giveaway here. We had 3,300 people on YouTube and 1,600, we had 5,000 people commenting live about Liam Dim Sum or whatever. <laughs> Liam Pizum might have won. Please some, peace some. It just shows you how creative can, people can be if they're incentivized. Liam Weed Dump? Um, now, let's go 350 bucks. I'm gonna ask a question, who is paying attention? So this is the second part of the 700 bucks. 350 to one person to name Schmurder. Did Schmurder leave his email? Somebody gonna try to make a account name Schmurder. Oh, there it is. I see it, molesn, M-O-Y-L-E-S-N, at gmail.com. Okay, Schmurder, it's fun, oh, I'll, sh it doesn't, sh it automatically hides it. Oh. Yeah, Liam, it. Liam Dixum. Um, so here's the question. See who was paying attention from the beginning. Here we go, for $350. Uh, what did I say? The average family on that one website, they said there's two prices, amount of money people spend at Disney World instead of investing in their own brain so they can go to Disneyland for the rest of their life from the cash flow of their investment. What did I say? I said there's two price points. I see it right here. I'm not going to show you. I already got it. How much is, there's two price points. You got to say both. But let's give it a second because the other ones are lag. So YouTube always goes in first. I don't want YouTube winning just because they're first. I'm gonna look away for a second. I'm gonna give Twitter time to wake up, YouTube, and Instagram. You gotta say two numbers. There was a website that said package for families. They gave you two different budgets. All right, tell me when to look up, Josh. Go. Go, here we go. And I wanna pick a platform, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Tell me when to go. I think that's, can't tell, wait, let me, let me, let me put them up here on the tab. My finger's on the tab, okay. And go. Facebook. Right now, I'm gonna give it to the first person I see on Facebook. Nope, nope, nope. Ethan Phelan, I'm gonna pin, first one I see. Someone might have said it before, 2K and 4K. Oh, Ethel Phelan, I pinned the comment on Facebook. Oh. Sending you 350 bucks. Ethan, Ethel, can you also 
please, on Instagram when they people win, we DM them. But on Ethel, Facebook, I don't. It's a crappy messenger compared. I think, but. So people like it. Can you, Ethel, leave your email address where we can reach you? I'd like to mail all of you, if you're in America, a check because PayPal's a pain in the butt. I'm gonna get Cash App going. Ethel, Ethel Felon, thank you for paying attention. For all of those of you, you got, what is it, three days left, four days left. Tylopez.com slash Amazon Live. Take this from paper and a concept, what we've been talking, turn it into your bank account. Put it in your bank account. Learn to start selling on Amazon, either as an affiliate, your own product, other people's products, or an Amazon agency. PPC, there's so many ways that you can take a trillion dollar company and use it to your advantage. And we're training you on that. Got a 10 day crash course. And then as you're going and buying the 10 day crash course, which we price less like a third of what the average person spends on coffee every day. Sorry, not every day, every month. Um, we also have a four month certification. About 20% of you for sure should get the four month certification program, for sure. Anything else? I think we're good. Someone said, I just got in. What is this about Liam Neeson? <laughs> people, are, people are just, imagine if you just randomly came on my live stream when I'm reading off Liam Peason, a little bit of Peason. Earlier, uh, whenever you said uh, Dennis commits more suicides than other professions. Yeah. They just joined, they said, what did I just walk into? <laughs> oh, yeah, we talked about, oh, yeah, I should have done something on that. All right, I'll be live again tomorrow going on an Amazon binge. Not just Amazon, other stuff. Zach and clean some. Tomorrow we'll do the giveaway. Someone comes up, Zach's name, Zach Cookman. Be thinking on a good variation, a funny variation of Zach Cookman. Pee on these buns. That doesn't sound like knee. <laughs> I guess that's like Liam Neeson. Pee on these buns. <laughs> oh, Louise Saez, you're a little bit late for that, man. Okay, good luck out there. Talk to you soon.